Well, this morning uh, I'm going to just do a quick talk about something that's really, really getting to us uh, here on the lake and at my retail store in Salmon Arm. Um, we're on Shushwap Lake here, big Shushwap Lake and Mara Lake system, and never, ever at any time can you target salmon on this lake. You're not allowed to catch and release them. You're not allowed to catch and keep one ever out here. Um, we just see it so much. People come in the store buying 11 inch flashers, running a hoochie and telling us they're catching trout. You know, it's, that's not common trout here. I get it. You'll catch the odd one, but who wants to fight a four pound rainbow with an 11 inch flasher in line? Um, it's pretty obvious when you sit here and you fish this part of the water. I'm just outside of Sycamus. I'm sitting right here in the, in the channel, the edge of the channel on the drop off. And just about every morning I come out here through August, I see guys come out here dropping flashers, fishing this hole into the mouth of the eagle and just back and forth in here. We all know what you're doing and it's just very frustrating. Um, the reason we don't fish them in this system is because we don't know where they're going. They could be heading to the Shushwap River system, which is a fishable system, or they could be the Salmon River, the, the river I grew up on there that last year got 97 fish. Now, if we play the catch and release game, I don't care how good you are with fish. You are going to kill a percentage. I myself, unfortunately, kill a small percentage of the fish we catch out here guiding and release. It's unfortunate you do your best with them, but sometimes it happens. We pull them out of you know, 80 feet, 50 degree water, and we release them on the top in 75 degree bathtub water. It shocks them. And just because they swim away doesn't mean you didn't kill that fish. So it's just very frustrating to me. You know, people still just don't get this. And um, we explain it so much in the store, out here on the lake. I have that talk about the ethics of, of this and, and everything. And it's just, man, it just is not getting into people's heads. So I'm hoping a little video like this will get it. You guys can share it around and the people who are doing it maybe will realize that what you're doing is, is causing damage to some of these runs. Canoe Creek, 30 fish, you know, Anesty, Seymour. I mean, they're, they're getting a couple hundred fish. In my time alone, like I say, Salmon River, 97 fish last year. That run used to be over a thousand fish and now we're down to 97. So the catch and release game, it just doesn't work guys like leave these fish alone if you want to fish them the Shushwap River system and Mabel Lake open July 25th on every good year you got to check the regs go online check it out but most years July 25th those are targetable fish up there you can catch them keep them don't catch and release them catch them and keep them Shushwap little Shushwap Lake opens up most years August 16th that again is a keepable fisher. You can go there, target those fish, and keep them. It's legal. Go there and do that. Don't do it in this system. It just, uh, we're causing more harm by doing this. And it's, like I said, in my time, I have watched the fish drop off. Think of your kids, right? It's about the future. It's about our fish stocks. Nobody can tell me that our salmon are in good shape on the West Coast. I mean, it's horrendous. Year to year, some years are okay. Other years are wretched. So we all have to do our part. We gotta be responsible. Leave them alone out here. I mean, I fish this lake a ton and I have hooked into two this year and both of them gone. Though don't net any of them, bring them to the side of the boat, unhook them, they're gone. Do not pick them up. DFO and the conservation officers know what's going on. They know who you guys are and um, it's just a matter of time they're going to catch up to you and they'll write you that big ticket so uh, at the end of the day I, I hope they get it and I hope they do it because it's very frustrating to watch these salmon get picked on so anyways guys sorry about the rant but it's just it's time to put it out there it's time for people to understand a little bit about what's going on and why we don't target salmon on big Shushwap Lake and Mara Lake and uh, hopefully you guys can pass this along and hopefully the people who are doing it this will help them understand why we shouldn't be doing it. So anyways, guys, get out here, enjoy some rainbow, enjoy some lake trout, catch a few kokanee. I mean, this, is a, this is a beautiful fishery. Just get out here and enjoy the legal target fish. So we'll see you on the water.